Hello everyone, I'm Kerry Lou and thanks so much for stopping by my channel today. A couple of weeks ago I made a skincare video and since some of you said you would like to know how to do this hairstyle, I decided to make a video on how to do this easy updo, which is great for growing out hair by the way. I haven't had a trim in about 11 months now, but I have been treating my hair very carefully and gently to avoid any breakage. I don't know about you, but as I've gotten older, my hair has become much more fragile, especially up around the front here. And also it doesn't grow quite as fast in that area. So this is a great hairstyle for when your hair is not behaving. Just a little off topic, some people have asked me if I could please make some more videos. I wish I could make more, but honestly, I don't know where the time goes. Well, some of it has been spent with this sweet little blossom. The last time I showed you Cassia, she was only a month old and now she's seven months. Oh my God, I can't cuddle her because of COVID. But Joe and I drive by and we walk her to the park in the stroller and we cannot wait to give our grandchild a great big unmasked hug. I know many of you are in the same boat, but we'll get through it soon, hopefully. So hang in there, my friends, and I'll aim for a video every two weeks, if that's okay with you. If you subscribe and hit that notification bell, you'll know whenever there's a new video for you to watch. So let's get on with the demonstration. This is my hair two days after wash day. My hair doesn't have much product in it at all. I didn't apply any gel. I like to give my hair a rest from gel sometimes. You don't have to have curly hair like mine for this style. You can do something very similar even if you have straight hair. If you do want a curly look and you have straight hair, just curl it using your preferred method and then follow along. Sometimes I just like to keep it natural and to be able to run my hands through it without feeling crunchy gel. And what I also do is I will put a little natural oil in it. Maybe some jojoba oil or some argan oil that works really well so I rub it in my hands and just kind of scrunch it in and it, it feels really good it doesn't feel oily it just tends to soak in really quick my hair's been looking a little less than great lately and I know why it's because it needs a trim it needs a good shaping fortunately I've discovered this product it's called Dax and Dax is a brand that's been around forever, mostly in barber shops. And this is from their Naturals line. It's a curling cream, and I find that it's enabling me to kind of mold my hair into shape when it's just been washed. But I definitely need a backup plan two days after washing my hair, because now is when it gets uh, a bit out of control, to say the least. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's see if I can make some order out of this crazy looking mop of mine. So right now what I'm doing is I'm taking a section of hair. I suppose it's about a five inch circle across. Um, I'm kind of doing mine on the top of my hair because I like a nice high bun, but you can also do this lower back depending on what you feel sh uh, suits your face. So, um, another thing you can do too is if you have curly hair and you want to re-wet your hair, you can. For instance, sometimes I use a little spray and this is 75% water and 25% hair gel. Just use your favorite hair gel. So you can just kind of spray the ends and scrunch them a little bit and sometimes that reactivates your curl. Today I'm going to use this silk scrunchie to secure the ponytail, but uh, feel free to use a smaller one in whatever color you like. Something that blends with your hair would be good. And you can even use one of these, my little friend here. Hello, hello. <laughs> this is like a hair scrunchie. So if your hair is on the thin side, feel free to use one of these. They're pretty inexpensive. I think they're about $7 from Amazon. Um, so I was using this when my hair was growing out and it really confused people. They thought my hair had like 
grown overnight. So I'm not going to use that today though because it can actually make my hair look a little too big, if that's possible even. Okay, so we're going to give this a few turns. Quite a few because my hair's not that thick. I make it look thick though. See? It's like a little pebbles ponytail. You know pebbles from the Flintstones? Okay, now I'm going to take my hair section by section starting with the front and I'm going to use a little more of this formula right here. And I'm just going to run my hands through it like that. Maybe a little bit more in the back. If you have thin hair, you can even use like a little topics at the root. Topics is something that colors your scalp so that if you're creating little parts, your hair won't look quite as thin. Another thing you can do is you can give your hair um, a little teasing at the root here. That's it, you know, if your hair needs it. Some people like bigger hair. Actually, I kind of like that even though my hair isn't too thin. Now I'm going to put a bobby pin there. I'm going to use this bumpy side down because that's how they hold best. Although sometimes that kind of pulls on my hair so I change my mind and I do it bumpy side up. But maybe if you have thin slippery hair, using it bumpy side down would be the best way for you. And now I'm going to cross this over. So when you pin these sections, don't pin them too close to the ponytail because what we're trying to achieve is a nice wide base to make your hair look fuller than it is. Tricky, right? So that's a little bit more of my water and gel combination. You can buy these little bottles from Amazon. I bought about, you know, they only sell things eight at a time or something, but they're, they're quite useful. You can, you can spray your plants with them. Well, you can't get much water in there. <laughs> So another pin. Now that pin linked into the other ones so I don't have to cross it over. I don't like to put a crazy amount of bobby pins in. You can even make this higher if you like. Um, when you've done it a few times you get an idea on where it suits you best. The first time we do anything, you're not going to get perfection, and that's okay. The most important thing is that you try something new, perhaps. So we're going to work all our way around. Okay, so when I get around my ears, it tends to get a little frizzy, so I like to pay extra attention to that. And um, if you have short pieces here, you can even give it a little twist and that way you'll keep them more secure. So I'll just look for another bobby pin. When I used to live in England, we didn't call them bobby pins, we just called them hair clips. So I was wondering where the term bobby pin came from and I looked it up before I cheated. You can look up anything now, right? The word bobby pin came from when the ladies used to do the bobbed hairstyles. So I suppose they tucked their hair under unless they just had a short cut. I mean, they didn't used to do a blow wave to make it go under. So they just used to clip it under using a bobby pin. Do another one. Let's just mold this into shape. So, you know, when you have curly hair, it always does its own thing. And you're basically working with it. You can't really work against it too much. So today I have some pieces that didn't really do what they were told, like this little stick of a hair here. So I'm going to take my curling iron and give it an extra curl. Sometimes I need to do this, especially when it's not freshly washed. When it's freshly washed and dried, uh, it holds a curl a lot better. Then I get the more well-defined curls. 
so it does this style better but I really did want to show you something that you can do with your hair uh, two days after washing okay so that's a nice little curl there if you're not familiar with using a curling iron what you normally do is you take a little lock that you want to be curled take your curling iron I like to start about down here and try to get to the end of the lock of hair and then just wind it and it's nice if you can wind it so that all the hair is touching the rod not like that otherwise that hair is not getting as much heat as it could and please use a cur curling iron that you can adjust the temperature because as you get older your hair gets more fragile and we want to hang on to our hair for as long as we can right so there's another piece here let's give this little curl a little freshen up like that just wait one two three four i suppose i do it for about five seconds i don't want to keep it in there too long okay just kind of proof it around a little bit ah that's more like it you see once i get started i mean if you know hairdressers or makeup artists you know that we just don't know where to stop we just keep going and going like oh that's finished oh no wait a minute we'll adjust this we try for perfection but sometimes it's best not to okay i'm just gonna zhuzh it around a little bit stick i'm gonna hide that one <laughs> you can always uh use a bobby pin too uh to hold little pieces down like for instance if you really wanted this to last a long time you could take a pin and you could stick it in the end that way it won't be flopping around especially if it's a windy day but I'm just going to leave it like this and then what you can do is you don't have to put anything in it if you don't want to or you could just use a little hairspray I like to use uh, Elnet that's always in my hair and makeup kit when I do a professional job. It doesn't build up and it's not sticky. That's why I like it. It's nice to work with. You see, I can spray it and I can still move it around a little bit. And then you just kind of make sure it's symmetrical. Um, sometimes these sides get on my nerves. They get a little bit fuzzy. I have old school photos of myself and um, I, it's like I've got these sideburns that are fuzzy and out of control because oh poor things we didn't have hair gel or anything to help us with our hair then right so I'm getting a little of this can any of you remember some products from like the 70s or 80s I'm 63 so Back when I was young, there was Dippity Doo, and I still remember the commercial. Dippity Doo, new for you. I mean, I think it's because the commercials, they lasted for a long time. They had the same commercials for years, so you tend to remember them more. Okay, so I think that's looking better. So this is the finished result. What do you think? I hope you like it. So this is a very time efficient hairstyle change. It took me about eight minutes. I went from a messy mop of hair to kind of casual elegance. And you can definitely take this up a notch too. If you wanted to set your hair beforehand, it would look a lot more elegant and it would definitely be right for a special occasion. So please let me know what you think of this hairstyle. Is it something you could do or was it a bit more challenging? These things need a little bit of practice and patience. You can always practice perhaps on someone else first and that way it might be easier for you. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I'll see you next time. Bye.